God is faithful. God is faithful. Amen. Amen. Because when I have a song to magnify God this morning, it says faithful. Faithful. Faithful is our God. It's a simple song. And you listen and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
demons that you forget all that has happened in the past. Yeah, so, so, so. They will focus in the present. And the blessings of the Lord will come. The eleventh hour blessing. Hallelujah. You thought it's almost over. What can you do in the month of November? Ah. November is here, the month, the, the month is it's running fast and the year is running to an end. And you are asking. What I have not achieved from the beginning, can I achieve it now? But I want to promise you, the Lord will visit you. Amen. The Lord God Almighty will visit you. Amen. You will receive eleven hour miracle Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has done it before; He do it again. Amen. If it is employment you are looking for, the Lord will give you a gainful employment in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you are looking for business, the Lord will give you in Jesus' name. Yeah. If you are looking for financial stability, He will grant you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Because the Bible says, after ye might have suffered a while, the suffering is enough. It is for a while, from January to March. Then they said the pandemic has taken over. Everything is shutting down. Then they said, there is a lockdown. We ask you to pray you. It is for a while. It is for a while. He said the tears may tear the night, but what comes in the morning? God. God comes in the morning. So after you might have suffered a while, I, the Lord, will establish you. Receive the grace of establishment in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have might have suffered a while, I, the Lord, will strengthen you. In any area that you are weak financially, receive strength in the mighty name of the Lord. Even when your faith is weak, I join my faith with your faith. Receive faith to receive greatness in the mighty name of the Lord. The Lord will go in. The Lord can job in his work to pass on to fear. Do you believe it? Yes. Do you believe it? Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are welcome to a brand new month. A month of divine mercy. Divine mercy and unction. The mercy of the Lord brings the unction. May the unction of the Lord be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is the unction that makes you to function. You can't do anything by yourself. By your own self, you are nothing. But when the unction of the Lord comes upon you, you become a different person. The spirit of the Lord will take over. Then you are bred in the supernatural. Receive the mercy of the Lord. You are bred in the supernatural. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Is it?
Amen. Father, I want to to thank you. The lilies of the valley, the rose of Sharon, we worship you. In our adoration, we thank you. We bow down because of your faithfulness, because of your love, because of your mercy. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory and adoration for yet another day in your presence. It's the Lord day. Father, we thank you for your visitation today. We thank you because today you will set the captive free. Father, we thank you because you will bless the people that are oppressed. You will lift them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that today yokes shall be destroyed. Bodies shall be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Show us your mercy, O oh Lord. Let us obtain and enjoy your mercy. And let us receive unction from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, in unction that will make up your function in your supernatural, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in my For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You may have your faith in the Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to service once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Do you believe that today is a special Sunday? Yes, sir. If you believe, just with your heart. Today, we are starting a brand new month. And as we are starting a brand new month also, we are starting it with the blessings of the Lord. We are dedicating a child unto the Lord. Oh, what a way to start the yeah. I want to assure you, if you are in the church today, it's not by accident. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you are witnessing a day like this, your own day of celebration will come. Yeah. A day to dedicate your own child to the Lord That's in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. A day to dedicate your business unto the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The Lord will do it. Yeah. His name will be glorified. Yeah. And you will reign and rule in the supernatural. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will prepare a cup for you. Even in, in the presence of your enemy. This cup will run over. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said. Amen. And you will never leave the darkness. Amen. Because the child we are dedicating unto the Lord today. His name is Uriel. Mm. And Uriel means illumination. Mm. The Lord God will bring illumination into your life. Yeah. Every form of darkness will disappear. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. the Lord will do it. Yeah. You will testify yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a good day. Talk to your neighbor and tell your neighbor it's a good day. It's, it's a good, good day. day. Tell your neighbor it's a good day. It's a good day. Mommy, Uriel, you are welcome to church today. Uh -huh. Uriel, you are welcome to church today. Uh -huh. Daddy, Uriel, you are welcome to church today. Uh -huh. And may the church of God receive illumination uh -huh. in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. Anything that causes darkness. May he disappear perpetually in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every person that has joined up in this service today, may the light of the Lord illuminate your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And darkness shall have no hold on you in Jesus' name. Amen. Church of God, are you with your Bible? Yes. Sir. You come to your church today with your Bible? Oh, yes. Yeah. Now let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 9. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 9. Are we there? We're going to read from verse 14. Are we there? Yes. The best thing to do is to open your Bible. If it's your Android phone, open it. Don't stay idle in the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you stay idle in the church, you are likely to fall asleep. We don't know your person in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have a Bible, you can also write it. We are taking it from 14. Praise the Lord. Amen. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start from uh, verse 4. A 
It was said unto her. Verse 12. It was said unto her that the elder shall serve the younger. It's an abomination. It's unusual. But that is what is said here. Who said so? It is God. He gave them In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, let's go further. 14. What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with God? God forbid. It is impossible. It is what? Impossible. No more righteousness in God. He chose to love those he will love. He chose to do what? What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with God? God forbid, verse 15. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Praise the Lord. Amen. So then, it's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it. For God that showeth mercy. Receive mercy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Two people can be employed the same thing. And one may head up to be the trainer of the second one. One can be promoted and the salary, I will pay the salary of the second. It is the mercy of the Lord. Whatever you have received today, it is because of the Lord's mercy. It's not by word. Let no man should boast. It is the mercy of the Lord. And this mercy, this mercy, this mercy of God is available today. Amen. Receive mercy Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. The mercy that will give you unction, the mercy that will make things that seem to be difficult for others easy for you. The mercy that will make men to favor you. Amen. It was not only Esther that was there when Queen Nancy or Queen Vasti was the throne. There were other beautiful virgins. They are gifted in the use of makeup, cosmetics. But look at Esther. Mercy found her. And the people have compassion on her. And they taught her, they gave her what she needed. And at the end of the day, she became the queen. Esther, the queen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is the mercy of the Lord that prevailed. Otherwise, Herman would have hung for the time. Every evil that is planned against you, against your family, May the mercy of the Lord prevail. Amen. Anyone that has planned your downfall, that wants you to be earned, just like Haman was earned, may such person be earned in your place, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When mercy prevailed, the gallow that was meant for Mordecai was used to earn a man. The mercy 
mercy of the Lord. He makes river to spring in the desert. The mercy of the Lord. There was a woman. They said, you cannot live in this house with this son. God, this son is illegitimate. And they draw the woman. The Egyptian had me. They drove her out. They gave her a bottle of water and a loaf of bread. And she was in the desert with her son. And he saw what And he told him to sell that snake. But something happened. The snake of Moses swallowed all the snakes of the Egyptians. Power, past power. Yes. By the mercy of the Lord, may the ultimate power swallow all evil power in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He will do it not because of your righteousness. He said, I will do it for my, my greatness. Yeah. It's not because you know how to pray, no. no. It's not because you know how to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it's not of God. Mm -hmm. Have you not seen some people that are living a regular life, gathered life, and they're being exceptionally worse? Yes, and you ask yourself, what is it mean that I don't do? I'm even more qualified. The rest are sure. Note this. The Lord will have mercy on you. Amen. And the mercy of the Lord will give you angelic ministration. Amen. It is, it is always showing up in mercy. And yours will not be different. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mercy of the Lord and the grace of the Lord are used interchangeably. Praise the Lord. Mercy and grace. They start of short footed men, they cannot fall. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was why in the book of Hebrew, Hebrew, we were told in Hebrew chapter 16, he said, Let us now come boldly, boldly to the throne of what? That we may find what? To receive what? Mercy. And find what? Hell. In time of God, so the grace and the mercy of the adults we have Bible students say, Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! If you let someone quote that scripture for me, just open your Bible and read it out. I want it to be read, it's very important. Just open your Bible, uh, 416, Hebrew 416. Are you there? Yes, sir. Hebrew 416. What did the Bible say? Let us, then Let us therefore approach or come boldly. Go ahead. God's throne of grace with confidence. So that God's we... throne of grace with confidence. So that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Now you can ask me, what is the most important thing for you to receive? As a child of God. After your salvation, yeah. it's mercy and grace. As a matter of fact, it is the mercy yes. and grace that brought salvation. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So what do you stand to gain with the mercy of the Lord? What is that thing that you stand to gain? Salvation. Without the mercy, without the death, on the cross of Calvary, there will be no remission of sin. Praise the Lord. And it's because of the mercy of God, because of the love of God, because of the grace. We are yet born.
the rest by sure, that mercy will always be there. It gives you boldness, boldness, even to preach the gospel. If you don't have mercy of God or grace of God in your life, you cannot be doing this now. Praise the Lord. So when you open your mouth, wherever you are, however hostile the environment may be, you know, sometimes you may be somewhere, but you cannot open your mouth and talk about Jesus because of the hostility in that environment. Praise the Lord. The Lord. But once the grace and the mercy of the Lord is upon you, He gives you unction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If they will come to you, they will want to hear from you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The mercy of the Lord can do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When the mercy of the Lord is upon you, your neighbor will never be in vain. The Bible said in Genesis, it said there was a famine in the land. Great famine. The kind of famine that people were not eating their seed. May the farmer not allow you to eat your seed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. He gives seeds to the soil and food to the eater. May you not eat your seed yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. But what happened to Isaac? Go in that land and he reap in abundance. May that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The mercy of the Lord. May he be your portion in every aspect of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There are some people in life, they do not have father, they do not have mother, and yet they attain great greatness. Without nobody to cater for them. Men might have beaten them up. But when the mercy of the Lord shown up, that they just continue to wax great and great until they became mighty. Put your trust in the Lord. Do not put your hand in strange things. And the Lord God Almighty will always have mercy upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you something. In your Christian journey, you don't need to be strong. You don't need to be a prayer warrior. What you need is the mercy of the Lord. So as you pray, if you cannot pray for three hours, if it is 30 minutes, you are going to need to pray. Ask for the mercy of the Lord. And His mercy will uphold you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All manner of things were happening. People were dying in these last weeks. We saw so many things. A lot of lives were lost. For some people are alive today to be the hero of it all. The tell of what happened here, what happened there. It's because of the grace and mercy of God. Receive. The grace and the mercy Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. In your business, if there's no mercy, if there's no grace, you cannot excel. Are you the only one in the market? Do you know what the people, the market women, are doing behind the scene? You just rush to the church, you pray five minutes prayer, and you are opening your church. Some, they die with the devil in the night. There's nothing they are not done. But yet, you are prospered. It's because of the mercy of God. This season, may the mercy continue upon you and your household. In Jesus' name, rise up on your feet. Talk to the Lord that what I need in time like this is the mercy of the Lord. It's not my certificate. It's not the connection. All wrong. All manner of people all over the world that have connection. They are sleeping down. Connections are failing. Lord, the mercy, mercy. What you need is the mercy of the Lord. And the Lord will give you the mercy that will uphold you, that will sustain you. Ask for the mercy of the Lord. In your Christian life, in your business life, in your matrimony, ask for the mercy of the Lord. Today we have a testimony of a wedding that has reached 20 years. And you are enjoying the blissful life. It is because of the mercy of the Lord. Without the mercy of the Lord, you cannot hold a home. You cannot run a business. You cannot stand as a church for the mercy of the Lord. 
Open your mouth and ask for the mercy of the Lord. So that the mercy of the Lord will find you. You will not give up. If when you are losing strength, His mercy will strengthen you. Open your mouth and ask for the mercy of the Lord. That will give you unction and make you to have favor among men and women. Ask for the mercy of the Lord. Ask for the mercy of the Lord. Ask for the mercy of the Lord. In your academics, ask for the mercy of the Lord. Don't boast of anything. Don't beat your chest. That in the deep of hard work of my chief is so it is the mercy of the Lord. Ask for the mercy of the Lord. He gives you succor in time of trouble. Ask for the mercy of the Lord. 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 Father, we thank you. Father, we adore your holy name. Father, we thank you because you are good. This tenfold love of the Lord never ceases. They are new every morning. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Man. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Our eternal room of ages we worship you. In humble adoration, we bow unto thee. We say, O oh Lord, have your way in Jesus' name. But I will ask for your mercy. In any area we might have failed you, we ask for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. In every aspect of our life, that we are weak, that we are weary, we ask for your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. But I will ask, O oh Lord, let your mercy Bring down the unction of the Lord upon our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The message of the Lord that is uphold us and grant us safety. Safety of life, safety of property, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I commit your people unto your hand, O Lord, they are protected in your hand. They will never be abandoned. In the mighty name of Jesus, the mercy of the Lord will be your portion. Perpetually all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Man. Thank you, eternal rock of faith. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying.
into today's grace, mercy, and unction. I want you to lift it up. Speak. Speak to the seeds in your hand. He gives us seed to the sower. Our food, meat, and the eater. Ask that the Lord will bless it. That as he sow, it will grow hundreds of thousands and yield abundance. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I bring you the blessings of the Lord upon your seat and your hands that are lifted from the word of the Lord in the book of Psalms.